there's a quote that says that probably once in your lifetime you might need a doctor twice you might need a lawyer if you're good or bad but three times a day every day you need food so that really demonstrates the crucial role that farmers play in the country's economy agribusiness is a is a term that has evolved over time because one agriculture was initially seen as a way of life but as we have continued to advance the numbers of people population growing there has been a need to look at agriculture as a business so that those who are doing the production are able to get a fair return for their income and those who are also uh, in this business within the chain of the value chain of agriculture can be able to make business. The agribusiness sector encompasses a myriad of things that most people do not understand. Most primarily how efficiently, how precisely can we deliver food to the table and not only food but nutritious food to every aspect of the human being. But most of all, behind it is the art of industrial building. So you need to do research on all the elements that go into the wood, protein, pharmaceuticals, you need to do veterinary work because of dairy keeping and meat production. You need to do manufacturing strategies for adding value to the food, for making it last longer, for having reductions in the amount of wastage within the production process of agriculture. Partnerships of technology. How do you get information, precise information about rainfall, about humidity, about pesticides for the sake of getting the products more, about how you modify through either laser technology or nanotechnology the seeds that you will plant to suit the environment. All this is a vision within our agribusiness program. We have various programs. We have a, a program for people who purely want to produce. That's the Investing in Agribusiness Primary Production Program. And here we have a class module and we have the farm module. We cover aspects of farm plan. What is the opportunity analysis of doing farming? How do you select your enterprise? How do you develop a production plan? What's your business model for your farm? Do you keep records? How do you access financing? All these aspects, we cover them in the, farm, in the class module. And then we take them to select farms along the value chain, different value chains. And they get to learn technical aspects of the various ventures that they have so that's the primary production program we also have the value addition program this is for anyone who doesn't want to produce I mean production ends the moment the crop gets out of the soil we're talking about cleaning packaging dis uh, transportation distribution retail conglomerating all the produce if you're doing uh, if you have outgrowers how do you do that all that is value addition and we basically take investors through the dynamics and the elements that they need to understand to run a successful value addition enterprise there is a lot of money by exporting but very few individuals understand the export business HCBA has registered close to 400 exporters but there are less than 50 active exporters what does this actually tell you that you have a lot of people who ventured into export business and have lost money and a lot of farmers investors do this I mean what are fact, some of the factors to consider when you're entering into export business and even when you're growing for an exporter what are the dynamics how do you release your produce what are the quality standards what are some of the requirements that you need to know as a farmer or as an investor and this is what we cover in the exploring international markets program so we take them to the biggest global fruits and vegetable fair which is in germany and they and for a week they are exploring the various global aspects because that fair is attended by all the countries in the world and after that we have a second module where we come back and they apply what they have learned from a global perspective to their respective ventures and how they can move from where they are to actually exporting to the international market so that's our international markets program we also have another program for the public sector that's the sustainable investments in agriculture we realize that the public sector has a really huge responsibility in investing the huge amounts of money that they are given but they're unique because they're not just investors they're actually investing in projects that are for the benefit the community 
millions of people how do they do that and we take them to Israel for a module because we believe Israel has been able to really demonstrate the relationship between the public sector and the individuals and the investors and the society so having trained entrepreneurs or investors in the agribusiness sector for close to three four years we realized that the biggest denominator the biggest challenge that all of them were facing was access to financing and all of them were complaining that financiers do not understand what we farmers want there's no financial institution that is providing a product that we can say is actually friendly enough to farmers and because of that we designed another program called financing agribusiness value chains that is basically aimed at providing knowledge to financial institutions and really helping them understand what farmers are what farmers need what farmers require and how they can work for the benefit of farmers Having gathered a lot of knowledge and a lot of research in uh, the last five years where we've been doing execu agribusiness executive programs, this year we'll be launching our Masters of Management in Agribusiness. And this program is basically meant to enlighten or really add on to the managerial skills that managers have, managers already, who already exist in the agribusiness sector and to really empower them with analytical skills, management skills, decision-making skills, but very customized to the agribusiness sector. We are working with countries like Israel, Denmark, Netherlands and Germany to, to provide faculty. We're also having a faculty from Purdue University, which is the best university when it comes to agribusiness in the US, facilitate the program. But we'll also be taking the participants to either of those countries for them to have a hands-on experience on core projects that have been undertaken in agribusiness and also to really understand their role in developing the agribusiness sector in the country. The reason why we focus more on management uh, is because we realized that uh, most of the graduates have very good understanding of the ag agricultural science from the various uh, programs that we have uh, out there. But when we, we interrogated the actors who are managing some of these agribusiness enterprises, uh, they really have argue that they have a huge gap on uh, management skill that they would like to be trained on. What we came up with is a program that's an applied academic program, meaning that we still follow the academic theories in uh, agribusiness, but we are going to be more practical in the management aspect. So in this program we are going to invite guest speakers, we are going to have field visits, uh, and, and even the research that the student will try to do, we try to encourage them to do something that is practical and trying to solve a problem out there in the agribusiness sector. I was very much pleased with the values uh, and standards of uh, the Strasbourg Business School. It's not about coming in the compound and uh, uh, getting the materials to, to read through and going back home. It's about the results in the long run. That is beneficial to the student and also beneficial to, to the country or to the counties. What actually made me admire this course in Strathmore is the aspect of producing a wholesome a person, uh, rich in values, strong in, uh, uh, strong in skills and knowledge. And no doubt the journey is starting now. This is what Kenya was waiting for, in my opinion. The investing in agribusiness primary production module was very good. It helps you order your thought process about the whole agribusiness environment. The class experience was also very good because it builds on the foundation that uh, You've had some experience in some form of uh, business at some point in your life. So it just helps you now apply some of what you've learned in the past and also what you're learning through the module. Now you're, you're able to apply it to now your own situation as an agribusiness investor. The members of the class we had are uh, actually very resourceful people, not to mention uh, the, the people that I met uh, through, throughout the course, from the regulators to the entrepreneur who's done it before. So in terms of networking, I would say that is what I've really taken back. I can't wait to just get back and get into it. Fortunately, I'm already doing it, so it's just taking it a notch higher and I think I've met the right people. Since I'm in herbs production, it was very important for me to visit one of the biggest harps production here in Kenya and it was extremely important to learn 
how they are putting in place their quality control, their management, and uh, all the structures uh, that are implied and that, that are necessary for large-scale farming, especially in this sector. What I like about this program is everyone is willing to help, everyone is willing to share. There are even people who are uh, willing to act as aggregators. They are even telling you, once you start, just give me a call. If you need any help, just call me. They've even pointed me in the right direction, telling me where I can get services, where I can get the seedlings. And this has been really, really a good experience. Agriculture is one of the most profitable businesses that we can have. If you do it well, do it properly, you can make money. Out of these agribusiness programs, you'll have the best agribusiness added value managers, the greatest farm managers, and the partnerships necessary to bring that about in Africa, starting from the East African region. Thank you.